Hello everyone! Welcome back to Set Goals with Naila. I am so excited kasi next month is my birthday month. And so our goal is to start a journey. And I call this journey the Refining Womanhood. I talked about this last time when uh, Ms. Ayo Gutierrez interviewed me. And as I mentioned there, refining is the process of removing impurities to find the things that matter most. And so this journey is about finding harmony sa ating buhay. In areas such as our physical body, our spiritual, mental, emotional, financial, and our social relationships. No, I want this time na we will process na alamin talaga dun sa mga areas na yun, ano nga ba ang ating kailangan gawin para mas maging malakas tayo. Okay? And because it's my birthday, I'm going to start, this is the kickoff of our journey. Every week, I'm going to upload one to two or three videos that will help us refine the areas of our life. So for our first episode ngayon, we are going to do refining the mind. Yes, the mind is our most powerful weapon. Because sabi nga sa Bible, as a man thinketh and so he is. Kung ano ang nasa utak mo, malaki ang tendency, yun ang mangyayari sa buhay mo. Agree? Yes. And that is why meditation is one of the way I take care of my mind. Because meditation is a process kung saan you are focusing your mind on single thought. You are living with purpose at hindi lumilipad ang utak mo kung saan saan. Okay, so this is five ways how I meditate. Dati kasi iniisip ko, kaya ko ba talaga mag-meditate araw-araw? Paano pag tinamad na ako? So, kailangan ko ng variety, kailangan ko ng mga iba't ibang paraan para magawa ko pa rin siya araw-araw. Okay. Meditation, ang unang benefit ito sa akin is yun nga, yung focus. Yung pag kumakain ka, kumakain ka lang talaga. Kapag kasama ko yung anak ko, talagang sila ang iniisip ko. Pag nasa work ako, talagang nakapokus ko sa sinasabi ng tao. Because why? Because as I mentioned, focus and self-discipline ang mga dahilan kung paano ka makaka-accomplish ng maraming bagay sa mundo. Pangalawa, meron siyang physical benefit sa ating katawan. When you meditate, mas magiging healthy ka. Mamaya malalaman nyo kung bakit at paano. And lastly, it will make you happier. Because your mind is strong, you can always think the best ideas, best solutions sa mga kinakaharap mo. And our choices, malaki yung impact sa ating happiness. Okay? So first, I have here my journal. I list it down. Number one is itong tinatawag nilang breathing meditation. Yung, ito yung pinakasikat na yung inhale, exhale. Sabi ng yoga teacher ko, si Miss Chase, tayo doon mga tao ngayon, we are facing a very fast-paced lifestyle. Ang bilis ng buhay, click, 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 andyan na lahat. Kaya minsan yung ating paghinga rin, hindi natin, na, hindi natin siya na ma-maximize. Tayo doon yung mga low breathers. Yung parang mabilis ka lang huminga. Parang, anong tendency kapag ganun? Kapag ganun ka, mas magiging, reactive, mas magiging reactive ka sa mga bagay-bagay sa mundo. Kunyari, madali kang mag-react kapag may sinabi sa'yo yung tao na negative. Madali kang mawala ang pasensya mo kasi nga, ang bilis mo mag-react. Dahil nga, ang bilis mo din huminga. Kaya, ang deep breathing exercises really help us na magkaroon tayo ng complete breathing. So, paano yun, no? So, ito yung ginagawa ko rin sa umaga. I just sit down and I inhale through my nose fully. And then exhale. Hanggang sa maubos talagang yung hangin. Inhale. Exhale. Narada mo, nag-e-expand sa lungs mo pati sa stomach mo, yun yung complete breathing paghinga natin. Sometimes you can raise your hand. 
Siguro mga 16 times, ganun ka. Yeah. Napakaganda ito sa iyong katawan. Kasi alam niyo yung hangin na kailangan talaga ng katawan mo. Talagang matatanggap niyo talaga ito hanggang sa kaibutura ng iyong mga ugat-ugat. Parang ito lang yan eh, yung binibigyan mo talaga ng hangin. Yung lahat ng kailangan ng katawan mo. Parang umiinom ko lang din ng tubig na talagang pag 3 liters yan, nagbigay mo yung tamang dami ng tubig. Ngayon naman, kailangan tamang dami ng hangin. Kaya pag talagang medyo na-emotion ka, inhale mo lang yan. Ang ganda niyan, no? Ang ginagawa natin dyan, we are giving and we are feeling. No? Yung utak mo, iniisip mo yung hangin. Yung ini-imagine mo. Pinapokus mo lang yung utak mo dun sa hangin. Tapos pa nag-exhale ka, Parang nai-imagine mo yung isang hangin na pumapasok sa iyo at lumalabas sa iyo. At itong mga tayo kulagang pumapasok sa bawat himay-himay ng iyong mga ugat. Yan. You focus your mind on the air sa hangin. Okay. Number two. Ito naman, minsan ginagawa ko ito pag nakahiga lang ako. Okay. Yung breathing, kailangan talaga nakaupo ka. Naka, minsan pwede ka mag-ganyang posisyon, no? yung praying posisyon, ganyan. Ito naman, second, is yung pwede ka nakahiga lang. So, ito yung tamad-tamadan ka. Pero gusto mong mag-meditate, meditate, no? Nagawin mo lang, i-relax mo yung kamay ka pa mo. Naka-open yung kamay mo. Naka-ganyan, palms up. Ba yung tawag mo? Tapos, nakahiga ka sa bed mo. Tapos, ang gagawin mo, hihinga ka rin. But this time, you will focus on the every part of your body. It's called the body scanning. So, example ako, hihinga ako, inhale. Then, I focus my, my, my mind dun sa aking utak. Exhale. And I will release the tension. And then, inhale again. I will focus my, my mind on the eyes. And then, I will release the tension as I, as I exhale. So, yung tension mo sa jaw, tension mo sa ears. Dito, imagine mo, nire-release mo ito. Hanggang sa daliri mo sa paa. Yeah. Kung gusto mo pa, internal organs mo, isipin mo rin yung puso mo. Lahat ng body parts, isipin mo siya isa-isa. As you inhale, then you exhale and release the tension. Ito yung meditation na talaga makakatulog ka minsan. Ay, nako, ilang beses ako nakatulog lalo. Kaya minsan ayoko siyang gawin sa umaga. Parang mahirap. Baka makabalik ka. Pero okay na, mag-alarm ka. Kasi pag, pagkatapos, tong, pagkatapos ng body scanning na ito, talagang the relaxation, yung mga tension dito, ay, nawawala talaga yung mga tension. Okay. And then next, ito naman, yung medyo minsan parang ano lang ito, gigising ako, tutulala ako, and then I will ponder a thought. Ito yung parang sinasabi nga nilang term sa church na ponderizing. No? I will just sit on the bed or sit on the table I mean, sit on the chair or sit and think about a thought. A thought, any thoughts that will empower you. Like for example, a thought about what you have learned from a person. Sometimes pag minamita kong isang tao, sabihin ko, Ah, ito yung taong to, tinuloy niya sa akin itong bagay na ito. O kaya, a thought or lesson learned from a circumstance. Minsan, meron ako mga tanong sa buhay ko na hindi ko masagot. And then, I will ponder about it. Bakit kaya ganito yung nangyari? No? So, it can be a person. Lesson learned from a person. A circumstance. Or, experience sa buhay mo. Or, a thought kung paano mo i-create ang araw mo. Anything, a thought that will make you really train your mind to analyze and really be mindful. Ano na nga bang nangyayari sa sarili ko, sa buhay ko? Can be a person like your child. Kamusta na kaya talaga ang relasyon ko sa asawa ko? Ganyan. So it's really, really being aware. Sometimes, really, really, when you think, talaga lang ng focus sa isang bagay, doon mo minsan nare-realize yung maraming bagay sa buhay mo. Di ba? A goal. Tignan mo na goal. Play away pala ito. Okay. Next. Ito na yun. Kaya ako nagbenta ng ukulele kasi I always meditate using music. No music. 
Alam niyo itong music na to, yung parang tutugtog ka lang sa umaga, o kaya pwede ng piano, kasi I play the piano to drums, if you play the drums, any musical instrument, you meditate. Habang nakikinig ng music, Life is like music. It's harmony. Like the music outside, the motor. Hopefully, di siya mag-harmonize kami ngayon. It's very, very beautiful. You know, sometimes when I have a favorite song, I play it, I sing it. And I feel that this is the theme of my life. This is life. It's really feeling that you are alive. That music is something that is part of, you know, of a beautiful life. That life is really beautiful, no? Music, no? I meditate through music. And then I think about this song, and then I realize how this song affects me and really boosts me. Alam niyo pa nagbasa kayo di ba ng mga effects of music sa ating buhay? Ang daming mga gandang effects niyan sa ating buhay. Okay? Basahin na lang. Okay, so last but not the least, ito ang pinakamahalaga, is gratitude. Alam ko marami diyang mga, di ba yung mga gratitude journal, you can do gratitude journal, tapos isusulit din yung mga grateful kayo sa buhay na to. So, I always have those moments sa buhay ko. I'm grateful for nature. I just appreciate life. You know, when I do this, I feel so blessed. And when I can see the blessings in my life, I realize that life is fair. Life is really fair. Sometimes, God or there are things that will be taken away from you or mawawala sa buhay mo, hindi ka mapapanganak sa mga, mga ideal na mga circumstansya. And then you realize when you meditate about the goodness of life, you realize na nawala man yun, pero may pinalit yung Diyos sa'yo na mas maganda. Hindi ka niya kahayaan na ikaw lang talaga sa buhay na ito. So when I do the, the gratitude, I can use joy now. When I do my gratitude, I do my message. I message somebody, you know what? I'm so thankful for you. And then I also go out into the nature. And then I sit down and then I thank God that I'm still alive. I believe that when you meditate about your blessings or your being grateful, it makes you feel like that your mind can see more beauty. And then para siyang domino effect. And then you become super, super happy because you realize that there are so many beautiful things in your life and that is the five ways i do my meditation every day and so one more time the body scan the focusing on the body for your health benefit focusing on the breathing for the air so that you can be more patient and more self-disciplined and then ponderizing a thought, thinking about a single thought, lessons, circumstances, people, places, okay? And then music, and then gratitude. Time to really reflect on how beautiful life is. And that is how you refine your mind. The mind is like a beautiful plant. It grows beautiful, more beautiful, and more beautiful as you take good care of it every day this is refining womanhood and let's refine ourselves together and i'll see you again to our next journey i mean next milestone and ba? Pala. Basta sa ating next refining moments